Alaya, welcome to NDTV. Good to see you. Always happy and uh, bubbly. Now we are we have come to terms with this virtual interview. So let's enjoy this as well. Yes, totally. I've gotten so used to these interviews now. Uh, so Alaya, yeah. congratulations uh, for Filmfare Thank Award. You. It's a dream for every Indian actor we have seen from back in the days till now. Uh, you and for you it's special also. You got it from your grandfather. Um, tell me the whole. What was that day like? Did you know about it? Uh, what when you were on stage? Was there some kind of stage fright? Because this was a big moment of your life. I had no idea whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Um, I was hoping, uh, of course, as everyone is always hoping, and you know me, I like to be very, very optimistic. But I'm so cautiously optimistic with things like uh, this because you know it's. It's so easy to get so disappointed, you know, if you invest so much of yourself into it. And of course, this is something like you said that every actor dreams of. Um, it's right at the center of my vision board. I made a vision board for two years, my two-year okay. vision board, okay. and this was right at the center of it. You know, every time I would like want to motivate myself, of course, I would look at it, and that was always there. And uh, you know, a film fair best debut is something that you can only get or not get in your whole life. Then yeah. you don't get a second yeah. shot at it. Ever. So I really, really wanted it. Like, you don't even know how much. But I was so scared of getting my hopes overly high that mm-hmm. I didn't even tell my parents that film fair was happening that day. Do you know, I didn't even tell them because I was like, I don't want to also then have their expectations and their hopes riding on it. It'll be yeah. too much pressure. Mm-hmm. Um, I only told them once I got into the car and I finally had the award in my hand. I sent them a video. Um, but I remember being so nervous but so excited because i was like no matter what it is it's also my first ever film fair um my first ever bollywood film fair mm-hmm. you know i'd gone for the film fair ott and everything yeah, but this was my yeah. first ever proper bollywood film fair so right. i was super excited right. um i remember reaching there and i remember not even knowing when the best debut award was going to happen or anything i remember we sat down and they had the technical awards earlier and then they went into the um the second slot because i guess covid and everything they were then doing the next awards yeah. And so I was like, you know, let me just run through a sort of speech in my head, just in case. <laughs> and I thought I'll have enough time, you know, if at all. Cut to the first award they're giving in that slot. They suddenly ask, oh, and to give the best debutant actor, um, we'd like to call on stage. Kabir Bedi. Now they've called my Nana. Okay. So now I have, now to, I, now to I, it's a little bit, no, I'm going to get it. Right? They're not going to call my, you know, then they would have called someone else perhaps. Right. So um, I was, um, so now at this moment now my heart is like in my throat um you know i'm so so because this is a moment you dream of you know right, it's right. like and um then of course uh, my name was announced uh and i remember walking onto stage and i just remember wanting to burst into tears oh, um God, okay. because you know you, this is that moment and then you're looking at your nana and he's looking so proud <laughs> I don't remember what I said also. I don't even remember what I said. I have no recollection of it. I just remember saying so many thank yous that at one point I was like, um, I turned to my nana, I was like, am I forgetting anyone? And he was like, darling, I think you've said enough thank yous. And I was like, I was like, oh, okay, okay, thank you everyone. <laughs> she walked off stage. I'll never forget that moment in my whole life. And the fact that my nana gave it to me made it all the more special because I remember when I was just training, um, I used to make this acting show reel uh, with all my acting class videos and everything in it. And that's what I would show to people when I would meet them. Um, you know, not to say give me a film, just to be like, see this and tell me if you have any feedback. And if you think there's something you can work with here, I'd love to test for your project. Wow. Um, you know, just to like put me in a little bit, you know, to be like, hey, this is what I can do. Mm-hmm. Because no one has any idea, right? And no one had really heard of me even when we were getting into meetings or um, I was getting into rooms. So... Um, he would help me with every single edit of it. Like I would go to him and I'd be like, this is my new edit. What do you think? I've added this scene, taken out this scene. And he'd give me such great feedback on all of it. Um, and every week I'd go to him once and show him my new reel because I was constantly doing acting classes with constantly new scenes and he advised me on it and everything. So he was a very, very special part of this journey for me. Right. How was this year's film fair different? Because, you know, we have all grown up watching all the stars sitting together, uh, that performance is happening. This year it must have been different. Different, obviously of course it was very different in the sense that um they of course had to contain the number of people right. um you know there were these round tables that a few people were sitting around everywhere as compared to you know the normal huge audience that's there i've followed your career uh, you know what, what you've done you actually studied direction then you became an actor you signed another film and then your debut film turned out to be something else uh, life has planned itself right 
totally you know i i also really love trusting life i love yeah. um going with the flow of things i'm i like to believe i'm quite open to everything that comes my way you know um i feel like that's when the most wonderful things happen in life mm. so um yeah i mean i really do feel like something out there is guiding me without me you know knowing so anytime i feel like scared or uncertain i just go i do my classes i do my work i put my 110% in and i trust that there's something bigger waiting right. um or guiding me so that's always how i've done all my everything in life you know even if some things um i've not been happy with or some things have gone wrong such as you know your first one releasing and the world going into a lockdown yeah. um i've always believed it was for a better reason and for something bigger to come my way um you know and i always live life that way also great because that you know you don't really get very pulled down or disappointed disappointed by you know certain things that perhaps would have hurt you or put you down a lot um so yeah i like living like that way <laughs> right so you know after the first film um a lockdown happened that's the best time for an actor to network and go and just make sure every filmmaker has watched it everyone has watched it uh did you manage some of that uh, you know not at all because i'll tell you jawani janiman released and two weeks later two weeks later, not even two weeks maybe one and a half weeks later i was off going to shoot my other film yes um and then i came back from the shooting of that film when the lockdown had just started the travel ban had just happened so we had to come back um right. so i got like one and a half max two weeks after my film release to even be in the city um so it was it was quite disappointing in that sense because you know um you get to be visible you get to be out there you get right. to do meetings you like you said you get to network right. and that's what there was a great deal of interest that came in after jawani yeah. janiman yeah. um and for suddenly that to then go away so fast mm. um you know i had um, been locked for two films right after jawani janiman right. released i lost both of them thanks to the you lockdown lost the movies lost both and so it was so because everyone is focused on um you know saving their current movies or mm-hmm. another project get committed to no one could commit so far into the future um because right. no one knew what is happening and the deeper and deeper we got for lockdown the worse and worse it got um you know so that was very very scary for me um and that was a time where it was very very hard to then you know stay positive because for me on a personal yeah. level i felt like i did everything i could for my first film you know um at that point now of course now there are more things i can do to you know right. get better and do more right. but yeah so that was tough but uh, you know touch what life is back to normal and it's going stable and everything is moving upwards again so i feel great great i uh, keep doing this touch what thing i, know, not... <laughs> I can see that yeah <laughs> right so uh, i'm sorry to bother you in your this beautiful kerala vacation not at all you, happy you, to so you keep uh, you you keep enjoying yourself be positive and go back and enjoy your vacation and next Thank time you. i hope when we do an interview we can do a tiktok or something physically with yes. we'll you yeah great done i'd love to take care lovely chatting with you always thank you you too bye bye bye